Hi guys, so while I was thinking what other video should I do, oh, I because I've run out of ideas, I was like doing this and then I saw my t-shirt and I'm like, let me do kind of like books versus movie, is the book better than the movie or is it usually how we all agree the book is always better of course. Well, uh, let's just pick the main things. I'm not gonna pick Harry Potter because I have not read it. I'm not gonna pick Harry Potter. I have not got to the chance to actually read not even one book by it. So not picking that. But for example, I'll pick the Percy Jackson. People say the movie is very bad. I love the movie, but the movie got me and my cousin and everyone else to read it. So I read this first book. I have somewhere around here the second book that I definitely want to continue with. It's just when I have the time. I have so many books that I don't have the time. But anyway, so yeah, after reading the first book, I was like hooked. I want to continue. And I was actually reading it, not listening to it. I, it was perfect. It was amazing. But if you want, I want to compare it, hmm, maybe the book is a bit better, but it's still there. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. There's certain things that I like more in the movie than in the book, though. Certain events that happen that I, I don't know, I enjoy how they are in the movie portrayed than they are in the book. Do not kill me for that. For example, Hunger Games, uh, my best friend, I think after watching the first movie, my best friend sent me the third book, all three books in my language. I read them and I'm like, I like it, but it's not uh, it's not like I'm I'm not a biggest fan of Hunger Games people especially the first and the second book I feel like Katniss is like whining all the time but anyway do not kill me for it anyway I read them in English and I'm like kind of have the same idea oh yeah yay but the third book it gets a bit better it's just I don't know I never was the Peter but People is not either Peta or Kale's fault. It is Katniss all the way fault with everything that is going on. With <sighs> I'm so sorry. I've been filming the whole time. It's been uh, almost two hours, and my camera is gonna die very soon. But anyway, if I compare the movies with the book, I will definitely go for the movies because I don't know when. I will be in a mood to actually reread these books or if I will ever want them. The only reason, and do not kill me because I did want it to, I do not unhold those, the English ones, because the Romanian ones I do not want to unhold because I want to keep a track and have some in my language. And maybe my parents will want, especially my mom, she loves to read as well, so maybe she will like to read it, and especially she likes more in Romanian. So that's why I kept it. But the English one, the only reason that I kept them, I was like, they're pre books, I don't know. My sister was like, I want to read them sometimes, so I kept them. But for me to actually reread, or because I think I do have the third one in audio, to listen, I don't know. I don't even know if I asked for the credit back after listening to it. So definitely we'll go for the movies again, if I compare it. I don't know. You guys probably say that the move, the books are better. For me, especially the third one is, yeah, it's better the book. It's, it's, sorry, it's better the movie. Like, I love how they portrayed it, how everything is played, how Cadness is played in it. Jennifer is good. Um, oh my God, what's his name? Liam and, wow, I forgot Peter's name. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So I love how it's portrayed in the movie, how it, it's... Perfect. I just love it more. Anyway, let's go to Twilight, for example. Another big movie, right? Think about it. People don't like say, oh my god, I don't like like uh, Twilight books or anything. But to be honest, I think after seeing the first movie, I start reading the whole books. And I still have them, and I still continue reading them. I read uh, the also, because um, I think I only read it this year, the one with, um, oh my god, I forgot. But anyway, it is about this vampire. Where, you remember when it is sometime they're in like Denver, they create so many like um, vampires so they can go and fight against, like, I think it's an eclipse. 
to fight them. So one of the girls will be in her point of view and telling what is going on and how they're like forming this whole army and as everything that's going. So I read that and then I picked up the volume one of the manga in hard copy and it is a um, collector edition. And I read it. It was so entertaining and so fun. So me, I'll continue. I still love Twilight People and I will still like it. And sometimes I go and just pick it up and just watch some, uh, sorry, reread some of the things from it. But I do know by now that I've read, read I think, the second and the third one at least three times. And I think the first and the third one, sorry, the second and the fourth one and the first and the uh, third one i think only twice i read them like from the beginning to the end but anyway comparing with the movie it is a good movie i kept on watching them but i will go back to reread the book so many times and i will continue reading so i still love the books more I love the movie, but I still love the books more. I met the cast. I met everyone. They're amazing people. But still, I will go for the books. My opinion, perfect books. I don't care what you guys say. I know what you're going to say. Oh, you love that, but you don't like Hunger Games? Yeah, I don't. I like the movie more. For example, for, for example, um, the Mortal Instruments, well, to be honest, uh, I cannot really pick the books. It's not that I don't enjoy the books or something. But that first movie had such an impact on me because if I didn't see that movie, I, I don't know if I would have even started reading the Molten Instrument. But it had such an impact and I wanted to know more about the world and how like it's going on and what is going to happen. Are they brother and sister? Are they like, what are they going to make them think? And I'm like, you know, those things, key points that they were in the movie and how the um, characters portrayed it, like the actors, I really think I would pick the movie for sure because it was such a good movie. Well, okay, I know it wasn't the best, but I mean like the good movie, like it portrayed the book so well that it got me interested in reading the book. So that's how I got into it. So pick the movie of course then if it is to compare the movie with the uh, anime and pick up whatever manga that I've read like Sailor Moon, Inuasha, Jungle Moon, these three that I love the most because I've read so many mangas these three that I love the most I will definitely for Sailor Moon not pick the manga one the manga it is like the second anime like the Sailor Moon Crystal and I, especially right now, at the point where it is, it's going towards there. And I don't enjoy the Salomon Crystal as much. I will continue reading and I will definitely collect all of them. But it's like, <clears throat> definitely going for the classic. I like that anime more. Inuasha and Dragon Ball, they're a match. Like, I love both of them in the anime and in the manga. But for example, for the Inuasha, I've read something. And spoiler alert, big spoiler alert. For the Inuasha, they say that the ending is not going to be in the manga the same like in the book. Sorry, in the anime. Like in the anime, um, Inuasha, Kikyo, and... Um, oh my god, what's his name? Anyway, Kagome. They end up, you know, having some relationship. Well, in the book, it's not like that because it's all that time. Oh, wait, Kagome is like Kikyo, the reincarnation soul, and all of that. So nothing happened. And I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I like more the other thing. Yeah, I'm more towards the romance and like cheesy things. And with um, Dragon Ball, I'm literally this close because I love how it looks like. I even have the collector edition and I'm like, I don't know. But if you think about the money because it keeps on going, I'm like, I'll stop with the freaking like anime. I'll watch Super God one and I'll not buy any more, right? But yeah. And if you think about, for example, uh, the ones with, uh, what's his name, Nicholas Sparks, Sometimes I will go towards a movie, for example, I like more things what happen in the What to Remember movie, how they portray it, than how they're explaining in the book. But then, say Ivan, I like more the book, because, uh, for example, she was 
blonde and she became brunette where in the movie she was brunette and she became blonde and how the ends and how he fights and how yeah i like more how the book explains it so for me i am 50 50 with depending what it is and yeah for example i read uh seventh son and i actually like the movie more i did enjoy the book but i like the movie more than i like the book like I will definitely, I even rewatch the movie, but I don't know if I'll be in a mood to reread the books. I'll continue with them, but I will not reread it. So yeah, depending how good the book was, in my opinion, I'll sometimes pick one than the other. Yeah, you guys, let me know if you enjoyed, and what would you like? What do you guys think? It's good from what I say, and do not kill me for picking those things. Bye bye, guys.